In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart of means and a line chart of means for repeated measures data. Now I have three repeated measures variables. Uh, the first one is total competency score of employees before they start their job. The next one is six months after they've been on the job. And the third one is after one year on the job. And I want to represent the mean of each of these variables in a chart. So under graphs, choose chart builder. I'm going to hit reset to clear my gallery. We're going to choose a simple bar chart, which is the first one that you see under bar on the left. And I'm going to drag it in or double click it. Now I want all three of these competency scores. Let me drag my element properties so you can see it. Um, all three total competency scores. So if you hold down the control key and you hit all three of them, they highlight together. And I'm going to click and drag them to the Y axis until I see the plus sign and then let go. This way, SPSS makes a separate bar for each one of my variables, which is what I want. Click OK. And you notice it automatically says index along the bottom and you see each of the three variables as the categories. I want to include error bars and I'm going to leave it at the 95% confidence interval level. And then by default, the statistic that will show is the mean, which is what I want, so I'll leave it. Click apply and then your error bars should be seen in the gallery and then click OK. So this is my bar chart of means, where the height of each bar represents the mean of each variable, and I have 95% confidence interval error bars. So let's do that for a line chart. I'm going to hit reset, choose line from the left, and I want the first line chart, it's a simple line chart. Again, I'm going to highlight all three of my variables by holding down the control key while I click on them. Drag until it is a plus sign, and Again, the message that says all three will become a separate variable. I'm going to include error bars and click Apply, and then OK. So each point on the line represents the mean of each variable, and it also shows 95% confidence interval.